everyone unmute yourself and yep hi vishal yep neat hi i'm good you say just doing fine okay so uh, what are you doing currently uh, i work as a software engineer okay that's great uh, so like how much experience do you have one year okay okay great which company amazon okay great so that's good so you are here for java like uh, any reason like aise hi matlab hardik ka status dekha so i just wanted to join that's it nothing else okay okay in fact i have never worked on java so it's it's like a one on one one on one case a one on one course for me okay okay that's great so i think people should uh, take that benefit from uh, sorry you were puneet right yeah yeah i think people should unmute themselves and uh, start speaking so that uh, puneet notes them and he can provide them referral at amazon <laughs> <Lord. laughs> and uh, what about uh, rest people who are from college हाउस फ्रॉम कॉलेज Hello, Hello myself. I am Avnish. Hey Avnish, hi Vanchika. Yeah, I am from college. I am currently doing microbiology. Okay, that's great. Yeah, and I am uh, doing freelancing in social media marketing. So I just thought to learn Java. Also. Okay. Okay, that's great. So how did you thought to like uh, start with Java? Why not something else? No, I just thought just to just see how it is not. I'm just to see whether it it suits me or not. Just like that. Sure, sure, sure. I'll try my best to give you the test. Okay. Thank you. Puneet Bhai is asking for LinkedIn. Sure, we'll connect. And uh, who are all are from college? I think I got three people: Vanchika, Abhishek, and. Uh, Sudanti. So yeah, I am from college, first year FSC. Oh, so early. That's great. You understood early that you have to learn Java. You know, like we when we were in college in first year, we were just thinking what to do, what not. Yeah, actually, I got I got inspired by Hardik Hardik Bhaiya. He is my brother. He said that oh. there are many fields in computer, and you can explore it very well. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Good to have such brother. You are lucky. Yes, very lucky. And uh, do we have people from school also? Anyone from school, or everyone is from college? ओके पीपल आर नॉट अनम्यूटिंग देमसेल्फ मैं तो पागल हूं ना यहां बैठा हूं बोल रहा हूं कम ऑन अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ एंड लेट जस्ट हैव अ डिस्कशन एंड नॉट हैव जस्ट वन ऑन वन की मैं ही बोलता रहा हूं एंड यू विल जस्ट लिसन एंड चलो भाई ठीक है यस प्लीज एवरीवन स्कूल से तो कोई नहीं है यहां पे सब कॉलेज वाले ही हैं जॉब वाले ओके एंड जॉब वाला कौन है अब से एक्सेप्ट फॉर पुनीत Mm, I I also do job. I do freelancing work. Yeah. Okay. That's great. That's also a kind of job. Sometimes part time or I also do. Okay. Or should do we? Uh, Hardik. Uh, like, can yes. we start or do yeah, we have yeah, to Vishal, wait? Yeah, yeah. We can start right. Uh, like, I'll make you a host. You can share the PPT. I'll make you. Okay, I think. Yeah. Without making host, also I can share. I see the option. 
ओके होस्टेस डिसेबल पार्टिसिपेंट्स ओके सो इज माय स्क्रीन विजिबल टू यू यप इट इज यस यस इट इज विजिबल कूल सो लेट्स जस्ट स्टार्ट विद जावा लेट्स सी okay so uh, what would be the agenda of uh, today's session we'll first understand with the very basic uh, what is a program uh, let me just understand uh, 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 are you people like comfortable with java you have already studied or everyone is like most of the people are like studying for first time so we'll i'll go accordingly only can i know from the people studying for the first time first time and even okay okay so i think then we'll go from the basic itself if if, if anybody has any question or anything just uh, pause me in between and i'll like speak on that whatever you want to so today we'll start with uh, like just understanding what is a program and uh, why you should learn java and uh, how to understand what a java program is how to uh, compare it with other languages and uh, what ids we can use for java and then we'll uh, go into some uh, creating variable function and all in java and at the end we'll have some questions and we'll discuss uh, whatever your doubts are okay so everyone must be understanding what's a program or an algorithm right suppose uh, suppose you make a robot so you have to define the steps he has to move like move two steps forward then move two steps right move two straight steps forward so what the statements what you are writing these statements are called algorithm right the instruction what you are giving to someone that do this task okay so this is a program as like uh, you can see a theoretical definition <laughs> computer program is a collection of instructions that performs a specific task when executed by a computer so like in like in this case i as i told uh, if you were making a robot you will tell move two steps you write a code of move two steps it will move two steps so whatever task you are giving it will execute that so that's a program a computer basically requires a function typically executes program instruction in a central processing unit so uh, we make different blocks which are called functions like uh, suppose there's a robot i'll say uh, i'll make a func separate function for run uh, in an in naive way i will say that uh, i'll make a particular block saying uh, run which will execute the commands of running i'll uh, give a a, a particular uh, block for charge which will uh, be responsible for charging how much level charge and all so this is how we make particular blocks which are called functions okay so a process or a set of rules to be followed in calculation or other problem solving especially uh, uh, like these all are theoretical uh, definition don't go by this just try to understand the concept what it is okay am i clear to everyone yep okay great okay so basically like why we study java you know like uh, in currently industry java is the java is the first of all java is the oldest programming language and it is very robust you know uh, from previous apps if you will see adobe uh, uh, adobe adobe uh, uh, pdf reader and all so most of the java uh, most of the apps which uh, most of the companies in uh, industry which you see as of now are running their code on java itself because it is like a, a, a object oriented like highly highly object oriented language and uh, it is like robust you can take a java program uh, anywhere like i make my java program on my system and i'll give that my dot class file is generated which i'll give it to you and that will run there so these are the like there are many like uh, many good points about java 
which makes java like the highly used uh, programming language if you see in current industry i think java is the number one language which is used at most of the places most of the big companies currently are using java itself and uh, of course what's written java uh, uh, object oriented runs on any platform as i told uh, you just uh, i will i'll uh, generate a code on my system and i can give that to you and you can also run without any problem and uh, some fun facts about J uh, java so 1.1 billion desktops run java so um, uh, uh, if you see the mainly the uh, the apps which are like uh, in bank so and that uh, then those all those apps are also made in java itself because they these are very uh, kind of old apps and these are these were built in previous versions of java and they are like continuously still being used so that's the reason why java is like uh, running on 1.1 billion desktops and uh, for java we have like 930 million downloads per year like every year people are downloading the jars of java and uh, 31x more phones with java than apple and android combined you know like previously uh, we used to play games and they were all uh, made in java itself like if you so uh, see that that mini cooper or something so those all games were designed in java uh 3 billion devices run java and 100% of all blu ray players use java itself so these are the like kind of like uh, very strong facts about java which makes it like a, a a a good not good but a much much better language as compared to others and uh, now let's move forward okay so uh, let me just understand uh, make you understand like uh, what is the meaning of object oriented programming you know uh, object oriented programming makes coding very easy you know uh, let's suppose if there's a student okay in a class so if i am making a code uh, let's suppose here in the room we have like avinash uh, vanshika puneet chabra and sudanti so if i am coding it's not that i'll 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 write code or i'll store data for avinash also i'll make a class of avinash i'll make vanshika also puneet also and for every i'll write code like enter the name of uh, like th the name of the student is avinash the name of the student is vanshika the name of the student is puneet so this all i'll not write again and again what i'll do is i'll i'll simply make a class student and in that i'll store the common values like as you know everyone will be having a name everyone will be having their roll number so these are the things which everyone will be having so instead of making uh, writing a, a single code for all the people i'll just write a single code defining the name the roll number the address or phone number or anything and that i'll use to assign for all the students now i'll in single line i'll make make student s equals to new avinash so uh, i'll assign a, a class student for avinash that in a single line so that's how like object oriented uh, works if you can see here like the object here is student as as i know the student is a common object which will define all the students like avinash vanshika vishal puneet and all so here we define the class and inside that we give the uh, variables and all right whatever we need so hope that is clear to you uh, or you want me to explain it with some other example also so am i so boring that people are sleeping or something still no voice so should i move forward or should i we stop here itself no sir move forward okay okay no so everyone is like till. sorry it's clear till you have okay okay great just just keep on giving me the feedback so that i am not just like uh, going on and just try to make it a one on one discussion right like uh, we 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 don't have many people also we have like less people so just try to make it a one on one conversation and then it will go better actually that's the reason i'm like continuously asking sure yeah okay 
so this is something like a java program okay so uh, if you see uh, whatever uh, whatever the kind of package uh, i'm making in that package i'll see uh, java is fully object oriented programming language so everything is made in a class itself it's not like uh, i'll just um, write a function multiple functions and uh, i'll execute them whatever i have to write i'll make a class for it i'll have the variables for it and i'll have the getter setter getter setter for it what does mean uh, by getter setter like whatever variable we have like uh, like roll number or student name then we'll we'll write common functions to set the roll number set the student name these all so if you see a java code you will understand that when a class is used inside that variables are there and there are methods to set the values or get the values or any manipulation thing uh, like uh, calculate average marks so here we will have a function inside the student only so for for any student will directly call this um, uh, class will assign the values will perform the uh, getter setter method like set value of avinash or vishal or puneet anything and when we want to uh, calculate the average marks of particular student i'll just call the uh, the ob uh, object of that particular student class and that will give me the marks of or average marks whatever i need so this is the student if you can see this is the student and i want to make an object of this so this is how a student's object is made like suppose i have a student called john in my class so student uh, any variable name student equals to new student so new is the keyword which is used to assign the memory now i'll have a, uh, in the internally a memory will be created for a particular stu uh, uh, student object and it will store the memory for student name roll number and uh, like just student name and roll number which we will uh, uh, like uh, assign through these functions so this is how a new class object is created and this is the setter methods if you can see set student name john set roll number 1 2 3 4 okay so here i have stored the uh, the name and uh, the roll number so what uh, what is good here i don't have to like uh, write set student name set roll number kind of these things for all the students at once like i have made a common student class here and here in a single line i am like assigning the values here so that's what uh, java object oriented programming like makes easy and here i can simply print that student dot get student name if you see get student name so this is uh, returning the uh, value whatever is was in this uh, variable name so student name so this is the getter method this is the setter method which is used to set so if you see in set student name whatever variable uh, whatever name value you pass that will get stored in this and that will be stored in this dot student name this is being used because this means the variable of this class whatever was in this class if i will not use uh, this it will be confused like uh, this student name is also only used or like the class is used so just to uh, comparify like just to distinguish this is used so that it this means that this is the object of uh, variable of that class in, which we called instance variable so whatever are in this uh, variables are inside the class that are instance variables which we will uh, like learn in further slides so now moving forward uh, i have some object oriented concept like inheritance uh, inheritance is i think uh, by word only it's common uh, as you must be knowing like you all must have inherited some of the uh, some of the features from your parents so i think that is very clear uh, if you can see here so the lion Uh, this has uh, inherited some properties from lion the baby so
there is a power loss at uh, his end he'll be there in uh, two minutes please everyone wait yes sir Uh, am I audible to everyone? No. I lost power at my pace. That's why. Yeah, you audible now. Okay. Uh, so I'll start from where we were. Yeah. So, uh, uh inheritance, I think, is uh, very much clear to everyone. So it's like a, a simple concept. I'm audible to everyone, right? Yes, sir, you are yep, you are. Okay, okay, great. So let me give you an example of some inheritance. So uh, let's suppose we have a car class, okay? So car, uh, as you know, car, car will have some features which every car will have, like a car will have door, four wheels, and uh, similar properties. So uh, this is, this can be a parent class car. And now suppose I have, uh, there are multiple models of car, let's suppose BMW and uh, Audi or something. So they will have their own features, but but they will also have the common features like uh, door and all, right? So we don't need to specify the door, the four cars again in the BMW class. We'll just uh, extend, inherit, inherit that from the parent class and we'll uh, and the extra features whatever i needed that i'll add in my bmw or mercedes class also so that's that's how inheritance works okay so what is happening is code is being reused whatever i made in the parent class that is being reused in the child class also does it make sense yes yes sir oh, okay okay great so like I think that is clear. So abstraction uh, is also a concept of uh, oops. So abstraction is basically, uh, let me give you a very basic example. Suppose I'm uh, driving a car. So I'm just driving a car. I'm taking gear. I'm uh, like uh, turning left or right, anything I'm putting brakes, but how internal working is happening when I put a gear. So how that has affected inside, like uh, how the, uh, the chains have changed or anything. So the internal implementation is hidden. Let's suppose if you go on an e-commerce website, you how you're you're just adding the object in a cart and that is getting added. But you don't know what code has run, what all functions have been called in the uh, internally. So that is like what refers to abstraction. We are hiding the implementation details, how that is happening. So that is like achieved by abstract classes. In Java, we have abstract class. So that's a concept of uh, Java. Now uh, moving forward, let's suppose uh, polymorphism. So you must have seen transformers. So the robots become into a car and the same car becomes into a robot, right? Everyone has seen, right? yeah okay so great that's what polymorphism is uh, a single a single method or something can do various kind of tasks like, like suppose in transformers a transform a, a robot can be converted into a bumblebee robot also and he can convert get converted into a chevrolet car also so same thing is like same object is doing multiple tasks so that that's what polymorphism means in object oriented concept. So here also if we, uh, we have methods, the method with same name and maybe different parameters or same parameters, and we make the uh, same use from through them. So it's not like uh, we have to do multiple, uh, multiple, uh, we don't have to write multiple line, multiple block of code actually for each functionality, uh, a single 
block will do two different kind of tasks, two or three or any n number of tasks. And uh, now coming to encapsulation, what encapsulation is, uh, as you were seeing here previously in a code, let me just go to the code. If we go in the code, so here, so uh, in a class student, we are wrapping the data members. These are the data members and these are the member functions. Technical words are data member, whatever are the variables and member functions, whatever are the functions. So when we combine them, so they, they form a kind of like a capsule, just consider a capsule inside that whatever materials we are putting. So inside this class, whatever variable names and member functions we are putting. So that is the property of encapsulation. So, uh, so what this picture is describing, uh, uh, Iron Man, I think this is Iron Man, right? So he can uh, have his own body also, and he can uh, like uh, uh, wear this uh, uh, wear this dress and get converted into an Iron Man also. So something like that concept. Well, now let's move forward. So uh, this is the line uh, if in Java, this is the line where the execution whole of the Java program execution starts from the single line public static void main string ARGS, whatever printf or whatever we are given. So uh, let me quickly just tell what uh, these means. And uh, meanwhile, like Karthik, uh, sorry, Hardik, if you think I'm going out of time or something, then please uh, keep pausing me and you can uh, like, let me know. No, sir, you can continue, okay. no issues. Okay, okay, great. So if we see here, what is public? So basically public uh, is a access modifier in Java. So as we are making some application, so we have to make uh, sure that it is secure, right? So we cannot like in a, in a suppose in a flip cart, we, we have the access to uh, add some product in cart, make an order or do something or, uh, or there's some discount just we can enjoy that price, but we don't have the liberty to change the discount value, right? It's not that we can change the discount value. Suppose there's a product of hundred rupees. I'll give the discount of 99 rupees and I can just buy the product in one rupee itself. So this is where the access modifier comes. We cannot do that, but there is someone who has some other access modifier who is doing. You must have seen that there's, there's a discount value set on uh, the platform. So that is being done by someone. And for that, he must be having some uh, better access modifier, right? Am I clear to you? Uh, is the example fine? Or you want me to give another example? People in the house? I think it's fine. Okay, great. So I think this is where access modifier comes into picture. Now coming to static. So uh, static, why we make static the first time is because uh, uh, using the static keyword, uh, we can call the method of any class without making an object. And public static void main is the starting line of an of, uh, starting line of any program. That's the reason we make it static because JVM can directly call it without making an object of that. So that's the reason we give static and void. Of course, you must be like uh, knowing what is the return type. Void means we are not returning any kind of value. If we had integer or string, that could be a different type of value or uh, return type. And main is just a, a function name, a kind of unique function name given in Java, uh, which describes that whenever I am running the function, just kill, call the main function. JVM Java virtual machine will call the main function. And string ARGS is just nothing but just uh, uh, we can have ARGS or anything, variable name can be anything. 
this is just like maybe you want to start your program by giving your name or any parameter so that's the reason we give this uh, value in the argument and now coming to printf it's like uh, as the name suggests it's simply used for printing anything on the console okay uh, now coming to variables so variables there are three kinds of variables local variable instance variable and class variables so uh, local variable as you know wherever i define a method wherever i create a function and inside that function whatever variables i am making that will be local variable maybe there are 10 functions and inside that 10 functions i am making 11 function and whatever variables i am making inside that 11th function they will be the local variable for that particular block so local means like uh, local means you live in a city in city for city you are the local person right in your in your like street you are a local person so that's how like local is means but you're not local for the state okay you're local for your city not for the state uh, now come uh, if you can read for local variable variable defined inside methods constructors or blocks these all means of function itself are called local variables the variables will be declared and initialized within the method and variable can be destroyed when the method is completed so as i told the variable is declared within a function so it will it will be existing only until the function is existing okay uh, as i told until you are existing and you are in the city in till that time you are like local when you go out vacate and go to some other city then you are not local for that street right so that's what a local variable means now coming to instance variables so instance variables as i was telling there instance variables are variable which are within class but outside any method so for student i was telling as i was telling the role number and the name they were outside the, uh, within the class but they were not inside any function okay so th those were the instance variables and instance variable local variable class variable is a question which is like highly asked at like many places whether you are going for interview or whether you are like studying in for exam so these this question will be like mostly exam uh, asked at many places and uh, now coming to class variable class variables are variables which are declared within a class but outside any method with static keyword so so it is very much like instance variable but here it is giving static keyword so static keyword what is how is it making different from instance variable uh, when you are making an instance variable which is inside a class so same variable you can uh, create in any method also uh, but what class variable is in class variable it is with static keyword with static keyword means in uh, like any function cannot modify that uh, class that static keyword a static method will only be able to modify that in static variables that's the like difference is it clear so we can move forward yes okay so i think this will be too much for you to consume as of now so this is the concept of polymorphism if you can see uh, a demo is a common function which is doing different task here so demo here is like printing the value of a demo here is printing the value of a and b both and demo here is printing the value of a but it is of double type so as i was telling that example of transformer it can be a car also a same thing it can become into a car also it can become a, a ro robot also so same here if you can see there's a common method called demo but it is doing multiple tasks different tasks okay and this property is called method overloading uh, now coming to a very interesting concept of uh, java uh, like java whole of java application runs on jvm which is called java uh, java virtual machine so and uh, what java virtual machine is like when you uh, when you compile your program whatever instructions you have written that instructions have to be written, uh, run somewhere on a system that system is called java virtual machine okay java virtual machine is something which runs our java program however like 
how many ro- uh, lines of code you write like million trillion like to whenever whatever extent that will be done by java itself and uh, another very good concept in java comes is uh, of garbage collection so this is something which is not in every language like python c++ do, do not have garbage collection so what what makes java good is garbage automatic garbage collection so it is like maybe suppose your application is running application like suppose a flipkart flipkart is being running from long time right so maybe in between i have made some variable which is not being used uh, i have made some uh, some variable which is not being used so in 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 other programming language it will always exist the memory for that uh, for that variable will be existing in the memory but what in java what happens is if there's a variable which has not been used in some period of time then it will automatically like uh, check it and it will automatically remove it so it's like a ca- kind of garbage only like we are not using it we have still uh, uh, taken the memory for it but not using it so the java will do the automatic garbage collection and it will consider it as a garbage and remove it from the memory so we'll have more space in memory so whatever is the main thing whatever it's running it will have more memory so the speed will be faster okay uh, uh does it make sense to you like uh, am i clear to everyone yes okay. yes so until now like do you think like we are going good uh, any doubts or anything to anyone vanshika abhishek avnish yeah it is clear till now okay okay so if it is clear then we can move forward so arrays uh, is a kind of uh, mostly used data structure you can say uh, like suppose you have a song in your phone so that uh, array is something which stores all the it's like a memory allocation which stores all uh, anything you want to store in sequence so it's it it takes memory and stores anything you want to store in sequence so suppose in your playlist you have 100 songs so arrays is the data data structure which will store all the details of 100 songs and when you want to search for a particular song you will search and you will click on that and it will directly go on a particular index of array and then you can play so that's why arrays come into picture uh, in on an e-commerce website uh, suppose you add 20 30 products so array is the data structure which will store the uh, the uh, which will store the details of all of the uh, products whatever you have added in cart so these are like just simple examples creating an array with random values uh, here this is way uh, we create a array in java double quote a new with new keyword we create a memory and double and this is how we are assigning the values in i at i th position of a so this is how we are printing the value in array and we have to find the maximum so here max variable is taken in java we have math dot max also so like one one very good thing is java has a very rich library in an array we you want to find the maximum you you can do it in single line math dot max you want to find the absolute you want to find the minimum whatever these kind of uh, you want to find the average these kind of operations can be done in a single line we have uh, libraries which we can like simply write Uh, like suppose you have like multiple songs and you want to sort on the basis of alphabetical order instead of writing whole of the code in java you can simply write uh, arrays dot sort and that will be like sorted so this is how it works in java and uh, now coming to exception handling so exception handling is something like uh, we of course have uh, any kind of uh, failure in our system so just to overcome that kind of failure we have exception handling in java it it should not happen that our system is going down if there's some failure it will stop working so if uh, exception handling what it does is if it if there's some failure it will automatically uh, try to handle it in some other way now coming to ids so what are the kind of ids we can use for java 
so uh, like uh, if you can see eclipse is one of the like mostly used ids for java and uh, we have uh, intellij also which is like highly used for uh, java programming whatever you want to do in java so now some of the essential questions uh, what can i do with my knowledge of java so of course java as i told in the beginning it is one of the mostly used uh, language Uh, mostly used language uh, for industries because you can do almost anything and it is a robust language it has garbage collection thing which makes java code faster so you can have uh, whatever application you are running you can have that running faster in your system and uh, how much can i do with java <laughs> of course you can like uh, do as much with java like it has a good memory uh, memory of efficient uh, program and uh, like everything like you can do with java how can i push java to its boundaries how can you push java to its boundaries it's like uh, you have all the predefined libraries right so you can do anything inside of instead of writing whole of the code for sort for finding max and all you can simply write all the you simply use the inbuilt functions whatever has provided in java uh so what we learned i just gave a like a brief intro about uh, java and to some extent in for some things we dig a bit deeper in java so we learned what the hell java is and uh, we uh, also read uh, something about oops concept as i told you and how to read a java program i think now you'll be able to understand if you see a java program you'll be understand yeah this is a java program <laughs> and uh, how to learn more about it as i told like how you can learn uh, you I, as i told the intellij id sorry the id is which you can use and uh, i think what to learn more about i have not yet told so these are the sources uh, head first java is one of the best book for uh, java you can use it for java and uh, there are some courses on udacity and one main thing i forgot to told is in in android whatever apps are made in android that are mostly based on java itself so the android applications are also made in java and as you know android is heavily used uh, like os uh, and google search of course you can like find anything on google so i think that's all from my side now maybe we can uh, uh, move ahead to question so if you have any doubt or uh, you want uh, to understand something what i told so maybe we can uh, the stage is now yours i am done from my side so you can ask me anything now if anyone have any doubts they can clear it out but uh, you really gave good examples for polymorphism and all the details you were given was uh, like very clear and very good uh thank you sir for this session and just we'll wait for 5 minutes if anyone has any questions they'll ask it yeah yeah sure sure that's the reason i tried since people are new here that's the reason i tried to take very basic examples very real life examples so that you can relate and understand how the things are like most at mostly places you you do google search or anything you'll just see technical words you'll not understand how polymorphism is what actually how internally it's working so that's the reason i tried to like uh, uh uh teach you through an example so if you have any doubt then you can uh, clear it out right now and uh, then we can like proceed further so the basics of the topics that you explained is clear very well uh, however we'll do a deep study on it i mean i'll do yeah. a deep study on it so that i can get further clarification and if needed can i get in touch with you anyway yeah yeah sure or uh, hardik uh, like uh, do i have the liberty to share my linkedin or anything or on group we can have some discussion hardik you are on mute no actually group is like for sharing the details we can make a separate group for java if the candidates are interested we'll make a separate group for any more discussions or any more classes like if people and if the students are telling that they want a long session on java then we can 
make a separate group and we can take uh, classes like on a regular basis. Sure. Sure. So we can maybe if we have some group, so we can have some discussion there. So you have any question? Uh, whenever I'll find time, I'll try my best to answer your questions. Sure, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so no much, problem. sir. You are very clear, and the examples you gave was very like very good. Uh, thank you, sir, for the session. Like, if anyone wants to connect with you directly, uh, like I think Avinash wants to ask some question. Facebook assigning yeah. roles. Please go ahead. Uh, Avnish. So, Hello, Avnish, sir. I'm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have a question. I, actually, I have a client, uh, and I'm not able to connect his Facebook page with the Facebook, uh, that account section, fa Facebook business account. And uh, can I share my screen with you? Sure, we can okay. see that. If that will, uh, if that is like uh, too deeper, then maybe we can take that at the end of session. If that is like okay, uh, okay, no, 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 no problem, no problem. Yeah, so that I just want to make sure that everyone is having context. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Just yeah, it just not becomes one another. Anyone else? Like, uh, guys, this is like completely free session. Yeah, no, we so can, can. Uh, yeah, no, we can continue can this session. Like, if anyone wants to leave, they can leave, and if uh, Abhish wants to ask something, he can continue. No worries. I think no one is there, so maybe Avnish, you can uh, like share the screen and we can see. I think Puneet is also here and Hardik is also here, so maybe. We all can check okay. uh, what's your problem and see, try to. Okay, I'm, I'm sharing my screen. Host disabled yeah, participants. Um, host has disabled participants screen sharing. Okay, uh, maybe Hardik can handle can that. No, I think, sir, I have made you the host, so you can uh, do that at your end. Okay, just let me check. Yeah, Vinish, now try to share the screen. Okay. Uh, is my screen visible? Yes. Yeah, so this is the request which I have sent to our Tariq. He's my client, and uh, the request is still pending. And when I go to the Facebook page role section, uh, I can't see any request over here. I'm the admin of the page, and uh, I can't see any request over here. So that's my doubt. Uh, I, how can I just connect this both, both pages, main, this account section, Artaric account, business account with the Artaric Facebook page? Okay, although I have not yet like uh, worked on this uh, Facebook business thing, but yeah, we can try to like understand it. So you are uh, like, uh, so you have some client who has sent a request on your page. Yeah, my. He is my client, Artari, and um, okay. uh, I actually I have just re requested uh, this is a business account I which I have made for Artari, and I have requested from this account to the page, and uh, this is how the procedure is. Um, okay. Um, I've sent the request to the page, but uh, here in page rule section, it is not showing it. And uh, usually it shows in the page rule section, the request, but I don't know what the problem is. It's not showing it here. So I think I have done something wrong over there. Okay. So, uh, don't you have like, uh, uh, what to say? Are you sure yeah. like you have followed all these are the steps? Properly? Yeah, I have. So these are the steps I have requested to. Okay, so from here you have accept, uh, like requested the access, but there it is not reflecting. Yeah, they are not reflecting on the page six page rule section where it will show. Okay, is so is it that on your Facebook page there is some uh, kind of uh, 
restriction said that there can be two uh, roles only or something like that some maybe two admins can only be there or something like that um i like don't think so or something or maybe from here itself you can like where can i show uh, where can i see that where can i see that yeah, i have like not worked on this like uh, until now on this side okay so i can like just provide you some suggestions maybe a naive suggestion itself not i'm not i can't give you a perfect solution this will be the solution but i can tell you maybe you can try to check from here itself as you can see uh, maybe you can try to edit uh, some access role some existing access role and uh, then i try to uh, make the admin from there and then try to edit here so maybe that works mm -hmm. i i think um, last time I, i have just removed one person who was the admin and um, there were at that time there were three admins and now i have removed them him and um, but still it's not showing that and i don't think that could be the pro probable issue because mm. uh is there no like a uh, help center kind of thing see help center kind of thing is already there maybe you can like check with them give you the give the idea okay, of okay yeah yeah and... yeah that will be quick i think on facebook like for aws we when we put the uh, any query or something we get like quick response so maybe you can check okay. the help center of this facebook okay okay i'll check with them thank you yeah like i am not that like i'm uh, perfectly work on this so i can't give you a, like perfect solution but i can provide you some suggestions at self what i already told mm -hmm. okay and i also want to ask you are you taking the whole series i mean for java are you teaching all the uh, like full series on java or just it's just for the basics you are teaching for one lecture no i think it was just this session uh, i don't have okay. any plans for like further sessions so okay. actually if uh, we find like at least 10 students were interested in like taking the full series of lectures then we'll organize a full series of lectures uh if So students come to us, and like there are minimum of ten students, and we can um, talk with Vishal sir or any other teacher, and we'll provide free series of sessions. So you can be in the group, you can contact me, and you can like I'll update you if we keep any series of the Java sessions. Yeah, um, which group? any face whatsapp group or yeah, any whatsapp group is there whatsapp group is there uh like okay. uh, do you have my contact number no i don't have uh, how do you came to know about this session uh through uh, abhishek saraf i think uh he'll uh, ask he will send you the group link of whatsapp you can join that whatsapp group and you will get regular updates about the sessions what all sessions are organized and which series is getting organized you will get all the details in okay. that group only you can get the whatsapp okay. link from him okay 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 thank you okay vishal sir thank you okay adik okay, okay thank you sir for this session Chalo. like it was good sure sure no problem thank you thank you thank you so much vishal yeah bye 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 okay